Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we are starting with a Phil Heath update and a question, is he competing this year? So Phil's wife, actually fiance or a girlfriend, I'm not sure, Shuri posted this photo of himself training biceps and he looks full blown. And this is the funny thing with Phil, last time I made an update of him, it was this photo, take a look at this one. What did he look like to you here? He looked retired, he looked small, he looked downsized, he looked like he is definitely not competing this year. But I told you in that video, Phil Heath is one of those bodybuilders that when you look at in a t-shirt, in a tracksuit, whatever, you think, wow, this guy is not that impressive, he's pretty small. But when he takes the clothes off, when he pumps up, when he puts the oil on, when he stands under great lighting and he hits a pose, it lights out, it lights out, it's insane what he can look like. A lot of bodybuilders were actually in the same condition, if not better, but bigger than him and still were not able to beat him because of his insane looking shape. So the size for Phil is not really an issue, he doesn't need to be super large. But here he does not look small at all, in that previous photo he was in a t-shirt, he wasn't pumped, the lighting was normal and here he is training, so his arms are pumped and his arms are his best body part, they are probably one of the best arms if not the best arms in history of bodybuilding and uh, he is also, he, his arms are touching his body so that can make them seem bigger, also he may have started doing something more, you know, training harder, maybe doing more gear, maybe eating more, I don't know, but here he looks like he can come back. Do you guys remember this photo? This was 2020, before the Mr. Olympia, when we saw this we thought, okay, he looks decent, the size is kind of there, he doesn't look super impressive, but he looks okay, we thought he's probably retired, he's just maintaining his body, he wants to stay muscular, kind of lean, pretty lean, pretty muscular, but he doesn't look like he can win the Mr. Olympia. And then boom, this was him at 2020 Mr. Olympia, so he prepped for probably for a short time and this is what he looked like, he got all of his muscle back, he got super peeled and he looked like ordinary Phil Heath from the years before, only with a bigger stomach, with a bigger bubble gut, but overall he had the same kind of muscle, the same kind of conditioning, everything else was just spot on, it was amazing actually. This is his stomach update from a month ago. He definitely improved it, I don't know how much, but based on the photos that we saw, it looked so much better, it looks fixed. Now, I'm not sure if he's doing this because he wants to come back and compete and do well, or he just wants to look good for, for a beach or just for himself, and I also don't know is the reason for fixing the bubble gut the fact that he downsized, because usually that's the way, that's the way to do it, you don't eat a lot, you lose muscle, you lose mass everywhere and you lose it from your gut. Now some bodybuilders do that and then they regain the size, Nicholas Walyud or whatever his last name is did that, uh, Rolly Winkler pretty much did the same thing, so they don't eat a lot, they downsize and then when the gut goes down they add the muscle back slowly, smartly and the stomach stays small, but they regain the muscle via muscle memory. Okay, now back to the present. This is Phil Heath right now. Did he say anything about competing in 2021 Mr. Olympia? He did not say a lot. I have no idea what is his stance on this. He didn't say anything, he didn't announce anything. So really, anything is possible. He did not say he's retired. If he didn't say he's retired, that probably means he's not retired. If you guys remember, that was my logic last year, I feel like Phil Heath has a lot of integrity that if he decided to hang it, if he decided to retire, he would do that officially, he would make a statement, he wouldn't just fade away, he wouldn't just disappear slowly, so I'm pretty sure Phil Heath is not done and why would he be? Look at this muscle, it looks amazing, he looks fresh, he looks great and the stomach seems to be better. So yes, maybe he didn't make any statements, maybe he didn't announce competing again, but based on this look right here, and based on how much his stomach is better, and based on the fact that he didn't say he's retiring, I'm pretty positive that he might compete this year, but he wants to keep it under wraps, he wants to stay away from all the drama, he doesn't need publicity really, why would he do that, he just needs to show up in with his stomach fixed, 
who can beat him? Who can beat Phil Heath? He is definitely one step ahead of everybody else as far as muscle maturity, muscle completeness, muscle density, conditioning, everything, really. Phil Heath is the second best bodybuilder of all time when he is on. Is he gonna compete? Is he gonna be on? I feel optimistic about this, guys. Whatever you think, though, and whatever you think about his physique update, what he looks like right now, tell me in the comment section down below. Okay, next one is also a potential comeback of also an unofficially retired competitor, Phil Heath's teammate, they are both coached by Honey Rambud, and this is Jeremy Buendia, a former man's physique, sorry, man's physique Mr. Olympia champion for like 4 or 5 years, and he seems to be getting bigger and better every time we see him. So look at this, look at this right here, I mean, look at his physique. He got so lean and so much bigger than the last time we saw him. So he is progressing at a really fast rate. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty safe to assume that he is crushing it right now. He is doing everything he can to make progress. Why would he be pushing his body so much and look like this? He looks really good. Why would he do that if he had no intentions of competing? And everybody's curious, everybody's wondering, when is the Classic Physique debut gonna take place? I am pretty sure this guy is prepping for a Classic Physique debut, he's posing like a bodybuilder, he's not doing any men's physique posing, I am pretty sure he's done with men's physique, I don't think he ever wanted to be a men's physique competitor, he started as a bodybuilder, and then when men's physique came up, he decided to do that. But he likes to pose like a bodybuilder, he has great legs as well, and he has great genetics. Very high lats and long torso, so not perfect, but I mean, who is perfect? Well, maybe Phil hit 2011, 12 and 13 without a bubble gut, but other than that, not many people. Everybody has flaws, even Phil, you can say his shoulders are a little bit narrow, but that wasn't really much of an issue. Anyways, Jeremy has a lot of strong points, a lot of good body parts, really impressive physique, and also he has a name, he has um, he has legacy, four or five times man's physique Olympia champion, so if he decided to compete in classic physique, that would be uh, very, very interesting to see, and I think he would do very well, I think he has the right muscle belly, the right shape, and he gets crazy conditions, so I would love to see him take it to that next level. Can Larry Wills do it? Can he do classic physique? <laughs> I am pretty sure he's way over the weight cap, but with his muscle bellies, with a bunch of torn muscles, uh, with training the way he's training, you know, for strength, not really for hypertrophy, he doesn't really have the kind of structure, the kind of muscle that looks bigger than it is. I mean, he does have pretty small joints, pretty good shape, but still, uh, it's not that good of a shape. He really doesn't have the structure to be an open bodybuilder, a professional open bodybuilder, and for classic, he, <laughs> even if he didn't have any injuries, he just doesn't have the classic shape, not even close, but he had a lot of injuries, so you can see that on his entire physique. But I mean, obviously, I'm joking about the classic physique, of course, he can't do very well in classic. Uh, can he turn pro? Well, there are other pros that don't look very classic, so, I mean, if he really managed to, to, to get to that weight cap and he came super shredded, I don't think it's impossible. I mean, yeah, classic physique is all about the, the, the small waist, but uh, it's not the only factor. There are other factors that are probably less important, but there are many factors. So, like, I don't think it's entirely impossible. If he really tried, maybe he would do it. Can he turn pro in open bodybuilding? With his height, uh, he will just have to be so much bigger, and I don't think he has the potential to get to that level of size. And also the shape, you need to, you need to have shape. Like, he is really heavy. He's probably, like, 270 to 80 here, and he doesn't look that big. I mean, Chris Bumstead looks bigger, even though he's way smaller. So, the thing is, with these powerlifters, they have a lot of muscle and they are heavy, but they don't really have the right muscle on right places to look bigger than they are. Larry Wills is actually one of the best looking powerlifters, I mean, he's one of the strongest powerlifters, and for being on that level, he looks amazing. He can be, let's say, a good bodybuilder, but like to turn pro, to be on that level, I mean, where he is at in powerlifting, to be that good in bodybuilding, nah, no, not, not gonna happen, no way. I mean, take a look at Wesley Wissers right here and his clean look. This is old news, of course, he won this show, of course, you know, he won uh, Poland Pro, I'm sure you probably didn't even hear about this show, yeah, it exists, it is an Olympia qualifier, he did win this one, and uh, I gotta say, he was shredded here, 
he was really peeled. Though the fullness of his legs suffered, he, he was still in good shape, in really good shape. He was really conditioned, so I love this look, it looks amazing. And it's weird to think that he can't really crack the like top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, not even close. Because he has some poses that look absolutely amazing, but many of them don't look very good. His legs are not very good, his waist is, is too wide, he really doesn't have the best classic physique structure. He does have really good structure in certain poses, but in majority, no, no. But the clean look, the striations, this is just this is just beautiful. This pose right here, this photo, amazing. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I was amazed when I saw this. What's going on with Patrick Moore? I don't know, is he competing? Even he is qualified, he won California Pro this year. And now he's at how many, five weeks out of Mr. Olympia, looking like this? Where are his arms? Where are his delts, the traps? He looks like he downsized, he looks like he's off. Is he off the cycle? I don't know, maybe just the pose, maybe he didn't pose not properly, maybe the, the, the shirt's making him look smaller and downsized and... I don't know, he does look pretty lean, but his arms, I mean, he has big arms, this guy, where are they here? You already saw this photo, he posted this one yesterday, and this back pff, doesn't look good, it looks pretty bad, five weeks out, yeah, nothing, nothing impressive to see here, not big, not conditioned, I don't know, what is going on with Patrick Moore? Maybe he's not the biggest, the freakiest guy up there, but he is one of the most aesthetic guys up there, who can actually get in pretty good condition, so I would love to see him on that stage, I would love to see him do well, I would love to see him look great, I hope uh, these, these photos are misleading, maybe they're older photos, maybe it's just the angle, the lighting, the, the, the clothes that he's wearing, I hope it's something like that, I hope he's gonna bring it, I hope he's gonna look better than California Pro, at the California Pro he was in okay condition, it was in 2019 Mr. Olympia condition, but it was decent, uh, if he can bring the same conditioning like 2019, with a little bit bigger frame, a little bit more muscle, that can be an interesting package to see at the Mr. Olympia 2021. And can somebody please tell me that I'm not the only one who cannot see Derek Lansford making it in 212? He never really says anything, I mean, he writes some kind of motivational captions that nobody is ever reading. Uh, I watched a podcast with him, with Fuad Abiyar, he literally said nothing. He was talking for two hours and I didn't hear anything, he was talking like, uh, like, like not a real person. He didn't reveal any of his personality, he was talking stuff that everybody is saying. Uh, it was like uh, watching a motivational Instagram page, basically, and this caption right here is just like that not real, I do not know what his personality is like, I have no idea who Derek Lansford is, and I don't think he's the kind of guy that will just announce and talk about what he's gonna do next, so if he decides to do the open, I think it's gonna be like a like last minute announcement, uh, he would probably want us to, to keep guessing, because right here guys, I mean again, please tell me, does this guy look like he's doing 2-12? 212? No way! Look at him, he looks as big as Big Ramy, only shorter. And there is five weeks until Mr. Olympia. No way this guy is gonna make it. No way! I'm pretty sure he's doing the open and looking like this, he looks like he can do some serious damage over there. I know when he gets lean, his upper 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 chest and shoulders, that's an area where he's really soft at and that can hurt him a lot. But I think one of the reasons is him having to downsize too much for 212. If he lets his body peak properly, if he doesn't have to suffer too much and kill his body with diet and everything and cardio to lose the weight, I think he can flourish and look absolutely amazing in bodybuilding open division. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it guys. And for more bodybuilding content, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.